G'day guys, welcome to today's episode of Idle Talking with Nolsey uh, and the start of season two. Um, today I have a very, very special guest, possibly our most uh, requested so far. Uh, he's one of Australia's most successful recording arti- uh, uh, artists uh, and certainly one of my favourites. Tim, let us know who we've got in the show, buddy. Okay, mate. Well, today's guest, he, he defeated you in <laughs> season one of Australian Damn Idol. It. Landslide, I heard. I heard it was a landslide. <laughs> over, well, just 20 years ago. It's over 20 years ago now. Oh. And uh, has gone on to have an amazing recording and, and live career with nearly uh, 4 million album sales, seven platinum or better albums, six ARIA number one singles and two ARIA number one albums. His, his song Battle Scars is eight times platinum in Australia and, it, and also platinum in the US. He's even performed for the Queen and Oprah. But most importantly, right now, he's just released a new single, Antidote, with Sam Fisher, which is absolutely fantastic. So please welcome Guy Sebastian. Hey! (laughs) Mate, for starters, thanks so much uh, for coming on the show. We're actually in uh, your gorgeous studio. I've way, set up too. a Bunnings table with a beach towel. <laughs> as That's the, right. As the it's table all surrounding mat. stuff, mate. <laughs> <laughs> but the mics are on. They yeah. can hear us. Well, well, everything's and this is the first time you've been to this house. It is. It is, Which man. Is awesome. Absolutely. No, it's, I'm stoked to finally get here, mate. You know, I mean, um, just seeing how what you, over the years talking about building and that doing uh, different things. You know, it's been. Uh, it's stoked to see it finished. It's amazing. Yeah, absolutely finally. gorgeous. Especially yeah. the studio. Did get finished finally. <laughs> yeah, I know. It took a minute. <laughs> It took a minute. Oh. But, mate, thanks for doing this. I really, really appreciate it. This is going to help the show. <laughs> <laughs> mate, it's good you're doing a podcast. I've always yeah. said that nosey has got great chat. Yeah, well, really we chat. have a lot of fun together. That's why I reckon this this uh, this one will be great. Because people don't, I mean, everyone sort of looks back on the show and, and the way the media portrayed us both as, you know, you're either Guy or you're Shannon. Mm. Couldn't be further from the truth how we were actually together. Like, we, we totally... Got each other's sense of humour because we're mates, you know. We spent that time together. Once you yeah. go through something like that together, you're bonded from then, you know. And I, uh, I don't even remember. I don't. I don't even remember thinking about the, uh, especially towards the end. Mm. I, I, my head was not even remotely in the competition. No, side no, of no. Stuff. Because I knew at that stage. Remember when Ed St John came in and yeah. he said, oh, "I was signing both of you guys." Yeah, yeah. And and I I think we were, like I was really nervous and I was being all like like you know oh, I'm not having a drink until the show. Once he yeah. said that, I think we both had a drink <laughs> like right be, be, yeah. before the actual show. Absolutely, because that, ultimately that's what we wanted. We yeah. just wanted yeah, to, yeah. you know, and, and it was a whirlwind. Like it wasn't much oh, it was crazy, real man. estate to think of mm. anything else except for how nuts our lives no. were oh. changing. It was just a lot. I yeah, I, I was, was I felt like I was sort of a bit dizzy from it all it's yeah. very hard to take in well we we were uh coveted from a lot of it too like we weren't mm. we weren't privy to what was actually happening no, out in the real no. world we were locked away and they wouldn't let us see any social media or there wasn't any well, social, there media wasn't social media then anyway like, they, remember there was the forums but we that's were, right we, yeah we weren't allowed we, to look at them yeah well we weren't on them no. I, I, I didn't i didn't mm. i wasn't on i know some of the uh, um, other contestants had they, they would jump that's on the right forums yeah and yeah, stuff. yeah 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 i don't know if i was ready for that world imagine no. doing what we did then now with social media yeah it's just oh a absolutely different yeah well, well you know I, I don't know if you know the social media things it's it's with all the great stuff there's a lot of bad stuff comes with it oh, too yeah. especially yeah. being in a situation like that when you're under so much uh, under so much pressure you know and judgment and, oh and that's the biggest thing because the one comic would especially back then it was you were so fragile enough as it was because just any t- tiny little thing that could go wrong would just bring the whole house of cards down. I, I thought, oh, you know, yeah. like if we get one word, like it was a ten second delay on the show, I think, from, yeah. from like on the broadcast. So you forget a lyric, or you drop a mic, or you trip on the massive stage, which is what they got, well, and it's, it's, and it's live, done. It's know? all over. Like you know like I mean? back then, it, it you know shows are pre recorded now. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely, yeah. that was literally live. So absolutely, you, you live. forget the words, you're yeah. screwed. Yep. But it, I think also, it, I don't think we were necessarily people who had grown up in you know i grew up in a small you know outer suburbs of adelaide you yep. were obviously from condo yeah, yeah i don't think like it wasn't really a reality for us growing no. up mm. to be famous singers you know like, yeah 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 sort of for me i was like it was never yeah. an actual achievable dream no so, i never so we were it, yeah. i think i think that added to the fact that we were like what like 
Yeah. What are we doing Gobsmacked. Here? Yeah, well, absolutely. We, me yeah. and you, I'm like yeah, yeah. fuzzy-haired, chubby, <laughs> weird-looking Malaysian half everything. You know, on the screaming, uh, what did, screaming piece of wood or wood. Oh, the plank. the plank. The plank, that's it, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> I forgot about the plank. That's the right. Screaming wood. Uh, who, called you the, wood. who called you the plank? Is that know. dicko? I, yeah, I suppose. He, he gave me apes there for a while. He yeah. looked like you're walking up the line in a deli queue or something like that. And I'm going like, what's a deli? <laughs> We haven't got any of them back at home. What's uh, a deli? Mate, there was a lot of things said back then. You mean that... a cafe? Oh, I, <laughs> there, yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy to think also how much times have changed. I mean, I'm on yeah. my voice now. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I mean, well, that... That, that's a question that I've got for you. Like, mm. how does that differ? I'd like as I would expect, you know, from actually being on the other end now, like put yourself in, in, in Dick, well, you are in Dick Go's shoes and all that sort of stuff and mm. Mark Holmes now. Like, how does that feel? To, to be all of a sudden on the other on the other side of the I love of the it. Thing. It's a, it's such a good gig, but but I think the part that I, I like the most about the voice is I, I feel I feel safe in, mm. in that in that environment because we we're not they they're really quick to to correct us if we say the word judge like yeah, we're, right. we're not judges we're coaches and yeah, so yeah, yeah, even yeah. when there's like a no chair turn and we you know no one turns around and yep. they don't get through we are so kind to them and so yeah. positive and give them heaps of feedback. Yeah, we'll jump great. up, do a duet with them. Like Keith yep. Urban might jump up and play guitar with them. Anything yep. we can do to make them feel special. Yep. And so I, I feel like for my personality, I, mm. I I can go into that space and I don't... Be comfortable doing that. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm comfortable doing yep. that and I won't feel terrible about it. No, I'm, I'm not right. great at, as you know, being... No, super but, no, confrontational but, well, and, mean to and mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> you know? I'm not really down for that. But no. But I think it's um, one major thing I will say is I, I feel you know I feel like an old person now saying this sort of stuff. <laughs> oh, you know, back in the day I walked to school <laughs> barefoot, thirty kilo school bag. Yeah. I I I, <laughs> mad, I think hey? the biggest thing is we were in the complete dark. Like, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you remember, right? Yeah, we we, knew we would nothing. choose we choose our own song. Yep. Like pretty much just go, oh, this is the sort of arrangement I want. We'd yeah, work yeah. with John Foreman. Yep. You chose it. No one's in your head like no, like going, right. oh, I'm going to design this. I'm your coach. I'm yeah, going to yeah. design this stage for you. I'm going to make sure that I think, you know, you're a jazz singer. I think you yeah. could really kill it if you modernized your sound and, and combined jazz. Yep. Like what we do on The Voice for artists. Yep. It's like a and ring as well. Like yeah, you're, yeah. Trying, you're trying no, to point true. them into a direction of yep. like, okay, after the show, this is what yeah, yeah. you should do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We were just like, all right, what song are you choosing? The theme is blah, blah, blah. Yep. And we'd have to just choose a song. That's right, yeah. And I, re I remember the first live show, I think it was the first one, I sang this Jackson 5 song. It was called The Love You Save. Mm -hmm. And that, and it was first of the top 12 live shows. Yep. And I think I nearly went out that night because I, to me, everyone knew that song because I'd seen it in, I used to watch this movie yep. called Jackson 5, The American Dreams, like this yeah, two-part yeah. <laughs> movie. It's sick. It's awesome. Yeah. And um, and that song was my one of my favorites off the mm. show. So they asked me, you know, what's what songs are you doing? And I was like, oh, I've got this song, The Love You Save. They're like, hey. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, you know that Jackson Fire. Okay, no worries. No one said to me, "Oh, it's not very popular." Yeah, it's, yeah, absolutely. No one really yeah. knows that. Yep. Why don't you do yep. ABC or I want you back? You know, yeah, that's those right. Ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've sung it. I've thought I've did a great job, and then Marsha, Dicko, and and Mark Holland are like, "What the hell is that song?" Like, <laughs> yeah, of all well, the songs, why would you pick that? Why would you pick that one? Because like, <laughs> I like it. And I was like, "Oh, I thought everyone knew it," but yeah, yeah. I was also very sheltered. Like yeah. I grew up like a, a church kid that you yeah. know, like I didn't didn't really listen to heaps of other music so yeah, so yeah, it's a yeah. bit bit of a sheltered um upbringing so so i didn't know what was popular yep. as far as like music goes and yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I, I felt like we were really in the dark so so it makes me feel like you know it, i think it's a great place for the, these artists to come on shows yeah it makes you feel better about it about the, 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 the guidance yeah and it's yeah, yeah. pre-recorded if yeah, something terrible goes yeah. wrong you yep. give it another crack or whatever yep. I, I think it's yeah. No, I love doing the voice. It's yep. pro I still say. I I'm careful to say this because I, I feel like it's the easiest gig I've ever done. Yeah. Not because it's easy, because it, it's really yeah, hard. Yeah, like yeah. it's tiring. Yeah, but you the can days just are like fifteen hours. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yep. But I, I think because I enjoy it and I feel yeah, like yeah. I'm suits you for it. And I just yep. feel like I can say what I feel. You know, like I can yeah, articulate yeah, how I'm feeling, and I can 
dissect a performance and go, yeah, yeah, it's your... this is what's good, this yeah, is what's yeah. rubbish or whatever. Yeah. Um, and, and whereas another coach might go, oh, hardest gig ever because they're uh, yeah, so yeah. it made me realize actually even just talking and speaking your thoughts mm. and communicating articulation yeah. it's such a gift yeah absolutely it especially really something is. that you're connected to too that you've got experience in history with because mm. straight away you don't have to search for for the description or whatever you're trying to say it just comes out because it's you're used to it because you, you that's your world yeah if you know what i mean which I'm, is great i never have anything planned like no. of, of what i'm going to say yeah, I yeah, just, yeah yeah my thing yep. is what i see I'll, yeah, I'll you just, react. Yeah, it's just, react. yeah, yeah. That's great. No, that's good. That's great. We need to get you on. It's great for the kids, but yes. it's great for the contestants, that is, because like you said, there was so much going on with Idol. I think, you know, the whole bad judge, good judge and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Oh, I mean, Dicko, Dicko was great at it, but but he was also, he wasn't out of his, well, he was nasty to me a couple of times, I suppose. <laughs> but he went. Mate, he my go, first audition. He didn't go out of his way to, to like to because most of the time when he said something that everybody sort of went like they, a lot of people were thinking it anyway. Yeah, but you know? I think the difference is right. It, it, it's hard for people to understand it when they look at it from now because the, the mm. yardsticks moved right. Yeah, you can't, yeah, it, absolutely. The I that's not the saying, is it? The the um the 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 goal you know, the, the goalposts have moved. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and so I think. Dicko, because we both know him, right? He's yep. a really good guy. He's, He's a really yeah, yeah, nice yeah. bloke. Yep. He's really caring. Yeah, he um, is, yeah. Goes out of his way for anyone. Yeah. Um, he, the difference is he was playing a role. Yeah, he because knew- not, by nature, he's the last thing, the furthest thing from a nasty person. No, no, exactly. Yeah, he's he, lovely. Really but- heartfelt, gentle um you know, considerate guy. Yeah. Just really smart. And I know. And he's a good piss taker. He is. He just, the whole family does that. He, said, he, he is said articulate. To me. He's too. really smart. Yeah, he's so that. clever. But, but I mean, he looks back on some of the things, you know, and I, I've been asked about some of the things. There was the famous Paulini moment, yeah. obviously, which is really hard to watch. Yeah, but yeah. I think because we went through that time, it, I could all, I always knew he, not that it justifies it, but I always knew Dicko was. That was sort of it was almost acting, that. yeah, in, yeah, in, back yeah, in those yeah, days. Whereas yeah. now it's like you yeah. just you're a coach on the voice or you're an idol judge or whatever. Mm-hmm. You're just you're being yourself. Yeah, that's right. But they yep. needed that position yeah, to be the Simon Cow. They had the Simon Cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, that's where it is. Insp- it came from the whole that whole bad judge thing, you know. Mm. And just Dicko was the only one who was capable of filling that role, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, well, this, these are other questions. Designed, or con- contestant of a talent show versus the judge, which is harder? Oh, definitely contestant. Mm. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now, yeah. Idol was uh, – see, when I think about the voice, I reckon it's even more difficult yep. because at least when we walked out onto the audition stage, we had six eyes staring back at us, yeah. right? Yep. On the voice, they're walking out. It goes dead quiet, and they, you know, the lady on the floor says, "Artist walking," yeah. and they and they approach <laughs> four bloody it's chairs. Like going are, like you're going to get strung up or something. Yeah, dead man, dead man like, walking. It's, it's literally like you know, <laughs> the eight mile, right? Yeah. <laughs> and and so so they walk, to, and and they've got an audience, and the audience is quiet because they're told to be quiet yeah, for yeah. the for that first initial part, right? Yeah, so yeah. everything is you can hear a pin drop, mm-hmm. and there's just the back of chairs and then you start your song and no one's turned yet. Even if they're great, right? We don't always turn straight away. We're waiting for them. You know, someone's singing, um, chandelier. I'm not yep. turning till they go, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not turning that's, no, before no, you hit sure. that. Oh, you got it. You can't. No. <laughs> yeah, even if they're amazing. No, right? that's right. I'm waiting for the test because, moment. Absolutely. And that's what that is exactly because some people can nail that first part, but then haven't got the range. For the exactly. Top but you imagine mm. being that person who is, starting that song and it's getting to that moment but they're also thinking why has no one turned like yeah, no yeah. one's turning and they think to themselves i've got to do more yeah, so yeah. a lot of the times they overcook it because yeah, they're trying yeah, yeah. to get they're a panicking. chance and they start to panic they yeah. stay panic yeah. and so you know then you hit a moment in a song that you're already a bit nervous about yeah. ah, I'm going to sweep, <laughs> which is a massive jump yeah, you yeah. know so i don't know i feel like that's even worse just staring at the back of yeah. the chairs oh i think it'd be hard yeah absolutely because yeah. you can't yeah i mean i i i closed my eyes in the first one just when it, when i was just the first time in front of um uh, mark what was Marshall your audition and, song again um holding your arms oh, but i actually did geez. ben before that it's funny you say before about the, the jackson five i did ben at the start the, as in your very first very first one when audition. it was before before the judges were even yeah, in the yeah. Room. Oh, okay and greg Benes was there the producer and he said yeah. oh 
He said, have you got any Australian songs? And I went, oh, actually I have. Because the, the that day in the room and there was, there was 1,500. I got there at 5.30. There was 2,000 people in front of me, 4,000 behind me or something. And then there was 1,500 wow. in a holding room. And whilst I was sitting in that holding room, I just popped into my head a hole in your arms from Southern Suns. And I hadn't thought about that song in 10 Mate. years. And then when he, when he said, have you got anything Australian? I went, yes. Yeah. Matter of fact, I just... Worked out something, <laughs> and not an easy Outside. song. No, too. no, especially and because if you start falsetto and no, no, which I, yeah, if you start the wrong place because it's acapella, yeah, you, you end up in a world of hurt because you start going, oh, I'm not going to get the top part. Yeah, now. I started yeah, yeah. too high. I, I was talking about that period of music just yesterday, actually, mm. in an interview. Um, that that little period of Aussie music because I just did yep. the single with Sam Fisher, right? Yeah, so, I'm, I'm going to ask you about that. I too. can't yeah, yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember many male male duets, right? No, and no. we we should do one. Yeah, but, yeah, absolutely. But um, you know, I, I I remember back in the day, I was lucky enough, both of us were, to grow up in a period of unbelievable male voices, especially yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. soft rock acus- acoustic yep. voices. So there was Southern Suns, you had Jack yep. Jones, yep, or Irwin Thomas, and then you yep. had you had um Rick Price, yeah, um, absolutely, Farnham, Farnham, yep, Barnsley, yep. John Stevens, like yeah, all of these. Yeah. John's a monster. Beast a, singers. Absolutely. And yeah, then even yeah. internationally, people like um, Richard Marks yeah, and all those yeah. really great male singers. And um, I don't know. I, I feel like I was lucky. Yeah. We were both lucky. I, I wrote with Richard Marks in, in Nashville. It was oh, ma- that's right. I, I remember that. He, yeah. said, he, he took me out one night. He said, oh, I'm a saxophone player every time. Because he's from, uh, not there anyway. <laughs> he, had to, he had to fly into Nashville for the two day, the couple of sessions, yeah. and his saxophone player says every time he said, "I mean, every time I'm in town, the saxophone player says, come down to this. It's a little writing night, you know, songwriters night at a library.'" Yeah, he said there'll probably only be 60, 50, 60 people there. Do you want to come down? I said, "Yeah, that'd be great." So I went down with him, and then sure enough, the the saxophone player said, "Oh, my friend's here. You know, we're all lucky to have him here. We, we, could we get him to sing a song?" So I kid you not, Richard Marks got up and went, "Yeah, okay," and and he's literally sat. Six foot from me with acoustic guitar and played Hazard. Oh, I saw that like wow. a boy from Condor mid jaws <laughs> hit the floor. Jeez. I'm just going like, you are. Is this actually happening? You and it was him just writing was together is a dream. Yeah. Oh, he was great. He was so yeah. good. You know, he's such a great guy. But but yeah, he's worked so hard to get yeah. to get his break. You know, he pushed just knocked down. I saw him every recently. Door. He did. I think he was going off at something. Can't yeah, remember. did he? Yeah, I don't I know. He, he comes out and, t- he and tours heaps. Spat the dummy. Recently. Oh, did he? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I haven't read it. Inevitably, that happens to everyone in this oh, business. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think he was I in did, the wrong. I, don't I just know. got I mine think... out of his system early. <laughs> you, mate, you've been, you've been very uh, yeah under, under the radar. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. We've both Enough contra- a bit of Well, in saying that crap. too, I've got there's a question about that that I can't find. Tim, do you remember that question you had about? Uh... The question essentially is: there have been times when you've both copped flack in the yeah. media mm. as celebrities do how have you handled that you know it it is very difficult it's hard yeah yeah i, I think um I, I think i don't reckon it gets easier i, I try and no. tell myself it does but it i, I think you just panic when uh, when i now that i've got kids yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. like it's just you know the stakes are a lot higher and and i know that anything that's in the media my like my sons are at the age where you know, yeah. they, they, they can be bullied for stuff or whatever. And yep. They're going to read it. And yeah. Yeah. They're gonna and their not, friends yeah. are going to hear yeah, it. Yeah. 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 And so I think, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I had to just come to terms with something that was probably the worst thing about me going through idol, which, which is you, like, I just thought I could please everyone. Yeah. I just, I just thought I could get by and, and just you like, can't. it's the hardest part. You just can't. No. And, and, and people are going to hate you and they'll hate you for things that aren't even true. Yeah. And it's up to you whether you want to spend your energy trying to defend something, which is, you're never going to, there's gonna, no winning. You, there's you, no you win. can't win, there's right? No so, win. so nothing, nothing to gain. Yeah. If you go on yeah. Twitter, right? Everyone will say, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Hillsong Pentecostal, um, <laughs> They'll bring up Scott Morrison, for example, oh, right? They'll bring up because I I did the arts, I I, I was a, like I got asked. Now who asked me for to do that? That was yeah. Aria, and Apra, our two music bodies in the of yep. uh, in Australia. Yep. Said, hey, 
this we need this so bad for our industry and yep. and now I'm not political right I, it yeah, was a yeah. silly move I didn't know I, did, no, I just didn't you're know not, right? you're, you're just not thinking anything of it at the time no, I you thought know? it had been Albo you would have done it as well yeah. whoever, do with, whoever was Prime yeah. Minister right I remember yeah. when we were on the show and, and I, I met John Howard yeah. right and to me like I moved here when, when I was six years old right? my, my parents like they're immigrants yeah. to here and and they've worked their asses off they've yeah. you know, beautiful they pay their taxes parents. they've done they've, wonderful wonderful people your parents. But, and your whole family is one but, lovely lovely people yeah I, I i but they were absolutely over the moon to me yeah the prime minister you, like that is such a like yeah, proud yeah, yeah. moment in in their lives you know absolutely, and, yeah. and one of like you know they feel included and, and, and yeah, yeah, part yeah. of, you know, the, the country and, and, you know, the prime minister's meeting them. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I've just never really been politically inclined, but, but fast forward, you know, I, I do this arts mm. package thing. Yeah. I'm not in control of where the money goes. I, don't, uh, I have no idea, yeah. but I followed up. But even beyond that, I got all of my band members crew to, to um basically give me their experiences of, of COVID, how, yep. how they're going to um, cope once they turn off the the payments um, yeah yep yep and then put i put that forward to mm. you know to scott morrison he's part, uh, like all the economists and all yeah, you know, yeah the yeah. treasurer um so i felt like i was just doing what i could yeah, for the for the industry but i did not know that you know suddenly then you're like oh Probably he's, he's one, he yeah. must be this um this political party yeah, and he stands yeah, for this absolutely. but it was the same thing right so when i was on idol they've seen me singing at church so yeah everything bad about like this big mega church or that big mega, yeah yeah he he's yeah, up, yeah he's, he's he involved. does that stuff too <laughs> i think involved, yeah. you know and so guilty by uh, association yeah, yeah and 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 i think you know like you you met me right at like yep. at the end of kind of but, you know, I'd been singing in church for years. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And had, yeah. you know, it's where I met my wife. It's where I, I mm. learned my chops yeah, yeah. musically. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you toured, I've got you know, so too. much to be grateful for. Yeah, yeah. Um, But I'm, I think, you know, I've always known it's like, and that's why I've never addressed things like Hillsong when some some current affair thing's on or whatever. I yeah, get yeah. asked all the time in yeah, interviews right. or whatever. Yeah. But I just don't, I, I'm not, I'm not going to go, oh, I'm not this or I'm yeah, not yeah, that. Yeah. Um, because I think you, you've, you met Krishan, for example, right? Mm. One of my best friends who's, yep. who's a pastor there. JD, all these beautiful, there are beautiful people. Yep. And just in any large mass of humans, there's going to be a few that rock yeah, 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 just yeah, do absolutely. a few silly yeah, things, course. right? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. So I've just never, I've never wanted to talk about no. those sort of things. No. So, um, and yes, I don't know. It's so just, I think I learned that lesson. Yeah. It's like... Just don't don't worry. You'll never change anyone's mind. No, let them no, go yeah. on threads and threads and threads yep. of Twitter rants about literally things that aren't even remotely yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and, and they've got no evidence or nothing. Zero to back up. evidence. They're total assumption. No. Total like, mass assumption. Oh, there was something else someone sent me the other. It was had to do with old, old mate next door, and there was there was heaps of stuff written in the media that. I'd, and and it's not people's fault, right? They they've yeah, read it in yeah, the media, but they don't understand how, no, for that, example, yeah, the legal system and, and, works. You can yeah. say anything, yeah, yeah, it'll get printed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then even when the truth comes out, yeah, yeah it's no. not like it's corrected. No, it's, no, so no, no. absolutely, it, it's a learning experience. You know, I've read stuff about you that I've gone. Actually, no, I've probably thought they're all true. <laughs> I could see that coming. I'm going, here we go. <laughs> sounds about right. That don't sounds like nosy. Deny, deny. <laughs> I don't believe it. No, no you've, got, you've, got, you've gotten off pretty... People love oh, you. People, mate, you are what you are. Well, I think the thing with, with me a little bit is, is I think... I mean, the biggest thing, upsetting part for me is, you know, I, I'm not denying that I abuse that bloke, you know what I mean, in that crowd, in, in that in that little town. Um but the, the annoying part was me with the parts left out of the story, like, or, or just total fabrications. Like, Shannon Oll goes on a rant and abuses a, a person in the crowd after one can was thrown. I'm going, I'm willing, I'm happy to accept my role in all this, but for God's goodness sake, mm. at least you can just be honest. Like, I, I did. 55 minutes, and there was 30 cans on the stage by the end of that 55 minutes, and it was, a, you know, a tiny little hand, uh, handful of people. The place had 1,500 there the year before. And then there was 9,000 turned up and they had 100 carts. So there's not a chance yeah. in hell they were going to control anything. No. They nearly burnt the stage down the year before. 
Yeah. And I would have been, just out of just being honest and straight, straight up, at least called it how it was and said, no, well, there was, they, they were just inundated by cans on the stage. My bass player got hit with an empty bottle of rum before we even started. Yeah. Like they were throwing half full beer cans from 40 metres away. They'd like just cave your face in, you know. Oh, mate. And They'd plus the venue. Like the, that yeah, can kill you. absolutely. And, and plus, on top of that, the organisers of the event itself had two cameras with tripods on it on both sides of the stage, which recorded everything. Yeah. So they could have gone, like, here, mate. He's, no, it was out. Shannon put up, like, it was stupid what he had to put up with mm. just to, in, to defend me. But they went, oh. We're not going to even. We'll just pretend we haven't even got them. Yeah. In hindsight, now you know I should have. I should have got that no, footage. But, and, and then, but just go. You know, they I, hung out to dry. But I know. think both of us. I, I'm not great in many situations where I always walk away, and and people yeah. would probably think I I am quite patient and blah blah blah. Yeah. But I, I will, as you know, like mm, I'll blow yeah. up over. So yeah, yeah, there's yeah. little triggers, right? Yep. Where I go, oh, that one. Yeah, that one's hit, enough. That yeah, one, that yeah, one yeah. crossed the Absolutely. line. Because the people you know, forget that you're, you're human too, you know about, what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know? And, and so, but in saying that, I think part of the lesson of, uh, like, it, I've always known that the loud negative voice screams yeah. at you yep. while the majority just either doesn't really give a shit yeah. or, or, they're, they're, or, or, they, or they do, but they're not... It's not a compelling thing enough to go online and log in. No, and go, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to say, um, I always use the example, I've got Logic running behind me, right? Yeah. When I've never gone onto the Logic forum to go, hey, just wanted to let you know, I'm really loving the new features on this new update. Um, mm. You know, I love the shortcut here. Just just in case one of the developers read this, well done, mate, keep going. Yeah, right? yeah, no absolutely. one does that. Yeah, yeah. But, but when it's buggy and it keeps crashing halfway through a session, everyone jumps on a forum or jumps on like, yeah, this yeah, yep. new update, what the hell? Like, yep, like people yep. are more compelled to sprout negativity and yeah, hate yeah, 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 than they yep. are to sprout. Like, it Confidence. loves boring. Uh, yeah, 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 you no, know? appreciation. Like, yep, and yep. so I think, even in that situation, yep. it's funny hearing you say that because I, I didn't get even remotely the impression that pe people either thought it was the funniest thing in the world <laughs> yeah, yeah. or they went, good on him. Yeah, like, that's, seriously, and that's, what ex of, that's so exactly what happened. The majority, yeah, then, that's what happened. My numbers at shows went, went up 25% yeah. across the board. Like Man, just like start abusing my mums and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you reckon I've got way more where that came from. <laughs> Found the secret. <laughs> Wait till I start on the girls' scouts. Tim, he's got a tour coming up. There's a tour at the moment, so yeah. we need an outburst. Oh, no. <laughs> Who can I rip into yeah. now? Who's mum can we this call? Is a moment. <laughs> Oh, you got to do what you got to do, <laughs> Nolsey. It's, uh, it's you know, it, we're twenty years deep in this. I know, and still going strong, mate. Yeah. We are. We both are sitting here right now with songs in the top twenty. Yeah, yeah. and great. we both oh, just released years. duets, yeah. which is awesome, mate. I just <laughs> oh, saw tell, this. so tell me about that, mate. Really, like I want to hear about that because I, I, I got a bit of a, a taste of it at the show that we did together. Oh, I did yes. with you at the Opera House, which thank once you again, for thank doing you that. so much. No, please. I'm here to say thank you. No, it was such a beautiful memory to. to to uh, revisit about me. That was, was my... It was I really, mean, really emotional. By far... And thank you for the kind words, man. It was just beautiful. I remember sitting backstage going, oh, wow. If he just can come up with that off the top of his head, I'm going to have to write something out because it was really beautiful. Oh, no, nah, mate. Like I said, I don't, I don't <laughs> think about man, what mate. I say. I just... Oh, it was beautiful. Lovely, my feelings. really nice what you said on stage, you know? But it, yeah. was, it was... To me, that was like... I, uh, and, and also, I know you're busy, you know, so when I, when I asked you, I, I was like... Oh, that would that would be a punish for not like he's coming for one song, <laughs> like that is a punish. He you, bet, you live like six or seven hours away, yeah, yeah. And, oh. or even more. Yeah, yeah eight, eight, eight driving. Eight, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I but I brought the family down, mate. Which is you know as well as I do. You know when you're on the road, it's up. You get there, you are flat out, you're sound checking, and then you're back. You have a shower at the hotel, mm. and then you're back to the gig, and then you're back and you're up the next morning, gone to the next place. So you don't. People go like, oh, did, is your family going to it? And I go like. All yeah. they get to see is a different mate inside of a different motel room. Yeah. Right? And, Why and, would they want to? You know and I mean? when you're on, to, like when I'm on tour and my yeah. family comes, I, I can't like I can't speak. No, for no. Like, like yeah. I can't just go to town for dinner with my yeah, family no, and right. stuff yep. and chat to everyone. I won't yeah. have a voice for the yeah, and because you're in that mindset too. It's just yeah. you're there to do a job and it's business, and you're not there to to you know look at the 
local attractions or whatever. No, you know what I mean? no. Because you're, you're thinking about people the show don't really the understand the whole time that. you're there. You know? Well, my thing Looking is at your watch going like I've got to get out of here to sound check. Yeah, so you're not really there. No, but for me, it's also just. I've always known that when I break the discipline, I pay the price. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if I, you know, there was one tour where I did 53 or 57 shows on that tour. Yeah. I, I would do nine in a row at times, right? Yeah, like that's seven crazy. In a row. I, I, I was the same. I did, I think, 43 in 48 days. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Jeez. 13 straight at the, at the end. At oh, the my back God. End I don't think Ridiculous. I've ever done that. That's insane. Well, one of them was a duet with Nat Bass. It was only a one song gig that night that but that bridged the whole 13 together yeah and it was for the opening i think for the tennis down in melbourne we sang don't give up and i'm like yeah, i'm yeah. like oh that sounds great you know but when i got to it i'm going like i've just had seven in a row yeah and i gotta go and sing fly down to melbourne and then fly back and catch up with the tour where it was at it's the time. and it's those things Hectic. the flight so so i i'm really I, I i'm i'm so disciplined on tour yeah. as far as like what i eat because like, yeah, yeah. I, I know I cannot eat anything with like chili, any tomato yeah, yeah, based yeah, sauce. Yeah. I can't have any wine. Yep. Like I just don't drink yep. really until the end yep. because everything gives me acid yeah. or it does something. Yeah, and I know that sounds a, so acid's boring. A that, acid's a killer. Yeah, literally. Mm. When I have so many singers ask me for advice yep. and, and, and on how to preserve their voice yep. or whatever. And then yep. they're like, I always lose my voice and I think yep. I've got nodules. And yeah. I'm like, have have you ever tried just maybe taking like some Nexium or some, yeah, something yeah, yeah. that, yeah, that stops like people, your acid and yep. see if that makes a difference? 90% of the time it's acid. Yeah, absolutely. Because people reflux. don't understand when you're laying down in bed too, yeah. you're, you're bathing your vocal cords in, in, in acid. acid. Yeah, it just so comes one of their, up. So the next day, they're one of their bright red and inflamed. You yeah. Know what I mean? And for more doctor's advice, please join Nelson's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> We're not doctors. Disclaimer. <laughs> disclaimer. Disclaimer. <laughs> We're not doctors. Don't take the <laughs> medical advice. No, but, but you, look, the, the duet... Um, I think you asked me yeah, about so that about half that, an hour ago yeah. before I started. <laughs> yeah, because I wonder because I know you produce heaps. I know Sam's a producer. Did you produce that together? Yeah, well, Sam came to the studio. Um, I produced the song yep. here, here in the studio. Yep. Sam Sam came over. I recorded his vocals here. We, yep. we, I, it's a very actually, similar voice to yours too. I, like to parts of that song, I was, I was sort of. But then you come in at the end and, and oh, really blast. His, but uh, he's he's got a sweet voice, hasn't he? Oh my god, mm. his voice. I um, I mean tonally. What I love is that there's parts of his voice that absolutely trump my voice. Like like when he's yeah. in his falsetto oh. in that first chorus, yeah. I went to put my, cause cause that whole first chorus Sam sings. And yeah, yeah. And so I'm producing the vocal in here and kind of trying to divide the song up and yep. I, I just had to go in with zero ego because a yeah. lot of the time you'll go, Oh, it's a duet. I should sing this much and he should yeah. sing that much. And for me, I just approached it as tonally where do our voices sound the best and you yeah. know like when when sam flicks into his falsetto where he, when he's in that low chocolatey like yeah yeah tone of his he's just a beast i felt like we complemented each other mm. you know I, I can sort of belt and do yeah, all yeah, those yeah, big ad-libs yeah. at the yep. end and yep. um uh, but the song itself i so my drummer andy fisson and he he got married yep about year yeah, and yeah, a bit ago. you said that, that yeah night. yeah yeah so he said you you're the antidote to all my problems in his wedding speech and, and, and yeah, the it's next funny when you're in that writing frame of mind yeah just a comment like that will go you'll go pop I'd, oh yeah even sitting at a cafe i found and just you, you accidentally overhear a conversation with people on the table behind you mm. and they might say something you go like oh wow that's oh, i've got to remember that, oh, write yeah, that down. No, seriously. Write that down. <laughs> this this happened a night ago that's like so literally cool. one night ago where i was in conversation, it happens all the time. I think yeah. people always think we write songs about just our own life, but no, no, we're no, also no, sponges no. for other people's drama. Abs yeah, absolutely, <laughs> and and yeah, and, and journey and process and, yeah. and just experiences, really. Yeah, and I think as a songwriter, you have to have a level of empathy. Yeah, like you have to have that feeling of oh my god, you're going through that. Like what the hell? Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. would feel like. And I know you. Well, hopefully, got a just big human heart. beings are like that, but most no, it's hard and harder. Not all of them have it. No, it's but harder like someone, to find these someone days. was telling me about their, you know, they're going through a very, very tough time, and I said this mm. thing that came out, and I was like, oh my god, that was so poetic, and I yeah. don't even know where it came from, and I wrote <laughs> it down later. So we constantly betray yeah. our private, you know, conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but look, antidote. I'll, I'll get the um. Actually, I'll get the voice note. I'll show you what was uh, recorded the day after I went. Um, to his wedding. To his wedding, yep. I, I, I did this the other day in an interview, so I've got to... Hang on. Look how long it takes to search. That's how many 
thousands of, of these voice <laughs> notes there are. Each oh, letter. no, yeah, I've got... So this is 5th of September, 2022. Yep. So that's how long ago yeah, we got yeah. married. And I had... Oh, no, that's a different one. Hang on. It's still the 5th. You know, we don't have words yet. So no, no, yeah, yeah. So that, that you know, like yeah, the, yeah. The, the gist of the melodies yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and then Sam came over the next day and I'm like, you know, we're talking about music. And, mm. and I was like, how come your song, This City, took like two hours to blow up? And just making sure it's still recording. <laughs> oh, I just had a little heart attack then. Yeah. Um, and he was like, oh, because I, I said to him, I added that song probably two years and a year and a half bef like on Spotify yeah, yeah. before it actually went global and blew yeah, up. And he right, goes, Oh, yeah. I was, I, I was at rock bottom, almost quit music. I was dropped mm. by my label, by my manager. Um, and I had, I was broke. Like I, yep. me and Aaron, his wife were about to, we were about to move back home and blah, blah, blah. Yep. And, and then he said out of nowhere, this city, his song started streaming like a hundred thousand, 200,000 a day. Wow. And, and he was like, what, what's happened here? Like, where's that come from? And it ended up being this, this TikToker actually DM'd him on Insta and was like, Hey, I've added, there's this app now called TikTok and it's getting pretty wow. big. And I just added your song and it's had millions of impressions, blah, blah, blah. Wow. And Sam was like, where do you live? Like, that must be why my song's blowing up. Where, yeah, do, you, yeah. where do you live? Yep. And he was like, I live in LA. He's like, so, so do I. Like, and then he, Sam went to his house and the guy taught him all about TikTok yeah, and how right. it works. And yep, so yep, that's yep. how this city blew up. And, but wow. at that point he was like about to give up. And yeah. so, so we're, he's sharing that story. And then we were both like, let's, let's write antidote about probably what is definitely our, our biggest antidote, which is music. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, just yeah, got us sure. through so much yep. stuff and yep. something that no one can take away from us. Like yep. regardless of where we chart or mm. where, yeah, where, yeah. where our, whatever our careers are, mm. n we've all, we've always got music. It's you like know? doing this from Luke Combs. You heard that one? No. Doing this? Oh, you got to, it's like, how many times would you have been asked this too? Like, oh, if you weren't, what would you be doing if you weren't doing this? Oh yeah, and he goes, yeah. I'd be standing on stage on a hot, like, been singing yeah, at a pub somewhere, cool something, and he's going like, with uh, lights, lights like lightning running through my veins. So good, couple man. of brown uh, liquor and a couple of a uh, couple of mates in the band, and they'll be rocking the stage. You know, Dude. he said it's some dive somewhere or some little pub, but well, it's hard I'd, to imagine, so I'd right? still be doing what I'm doing now. If what I would you if I be doing? doing this, you know. Me? You would have been asked that question. What, yeah, what's yeah, your answer? Yeah, no, well, I'll be still rocking. I'll, I'll be, I'll never, I love that song so much because it explained that concept to me and answered the question. I wish I had the the creativeness to come up with that answer because, mm. it, because it's exactly how I, I felt about it when I heard his version. Because yeah. you'd still be rocking out uh, on, at a Friday night at a, at a you know, 200 sold out pub in the middle of nowhere. You know what See, I, mean? I always take that question to mean. If you weren't doing if music, you were tone deaf, if you, yeah, yeah, right, and yeah, sung yeah. Like, well, that's I sort of, oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, I don't know. I sort what of. What would you? Oh, I'd probably be in the mines or something. I would be, I'd say, because mm. I'd rate, just operate a machinery, big machinery. So you know, that's a sort of with no farm anymore. That's sort of a, the first place young blokes go out there is because of big money and yeah, and you, and you what, come in, off in farms. WA or just no wherever. anywhere. There's just so many mines, open cut underground. Yeah, you know, it's but it's all big machinery running big machines you know and you know plenty of miners yeah well they're just a big money flying fly out there's I'd not plenty of shannon any knolls no i'm glad i can sing i'm glad you can sing <laughs> absolutely australia needed shannon yeah. knolls. <laughs> they needed us they, in all seriousness they needed us they, they did <laughs> you know, i put you in the same category as as the the rick prices and the jack joneses and oh, the, thanks, like man. your voice the, the monsters you know Oh. But it's so funny about the photo we took when I, we posted it down here. Like there was some media outlets going, oh, the photo that Australia needed. Yes. I thought that was so cool, man. Why couldn't because... you do it when you were a bit floppier? Like when you weren't, 
I was floppy. Why'd, you, why'd, you, oh, uh, why'd you? Why'd you? <laughs> <laughs> I meant sloppier. That was oh, a bad, sorry. bad word. Bad word to use. No, I assumed you were floppy. Um, no, <laughs> until just, I seen you, I was. Mate, <laughs> you were just waiting. You were avoiding me until you were swole as hell. No, I made that sure pitch. that we did this shoot down at Maroomba. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> just so good. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was awesome. I actually like, you know when you post something and you're just so happy to post it? Yeah, I was so yeah, happy yeah. to oh, see no, that it was picture. so good, but it was so good. I mean, you know. So is the whole country. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, man. It was fantastic. So, at least those old enough. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That spins me out. Like, oh no, well, it, man, I'm 20 nearly, years. I'm nearly fifty. Four, two years or fifty. That's crazy. Jeez, you're because in my good dad nick. was fifty six when he died. And I, when I was younger, I thought he was so, like, you know, not a, not in any way a, 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 a even a, Unhealthy a middle middle aged like man. Strong... He was a good, he was a older older gentleman at yeah. fifty six. You know, and I'm going like I'm fifty and going, going like I'm not. Someone say that about me, and I'll at the end crack of the day the chops. Though, you know, like, what I mean? yeah, call me an old fella. Get a room though of 50, 50 year olds. Yeah, I think well, you'd, I think you'd probably stand 40. out a little bit as someone who's in pretty good nick. Uh, I'm trying. I'm young trying. at heart. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, 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 I feel, feel an idiot. I feel weird. <laughs> I'll always be one of those. Oh yeah, that, that, that's that's both, you and me both. But yeah, I feel. Because I dress a little stupid sometimes, and I oh, and yeah. I get yeah, it. At least and you've got some style, but man. Well, I, my thing is, my, my wife just goes, "You're not wearing that." How, what, really? What Does freaking get stuck world in? would you think that that's okay to wear? Really? Yeah, just with color. You know, I'm going like, well, you know, I don't, I don't really. So give Roshi her gets a, stuck in. Yeah, she gives me apes about wearing stupid clothes. She's so sweet. <laughs> she's I can't looking after me. That or she's India. trying to send me out there looking like a good, <laughs> well, so that nobody's gonna. Try and compete with her. Well, you've met my <laughs> best mate, Timbo. Yeah, he's a champion. Absolutely. And Can't I play would... cricket, <laughs> <laughs> Can't play cricket with you. He, oh, yeah. He's, he thinks he can. Oh, no. no he he said, I'll get you out three wrong. balls. And went, no, you won't. Second ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, <laughs> he's, yeah, he's, a, he's a bit of a I weapon. We weren't counting yet, were we? <laughs> first, first, first grade for Southo here. Yeah, Southern. no, he's a gun. And he, but he, 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 can he play golf? How good a golfer is he? Mate, he's, he's very good. good. Yeah. He's off four or five. Yeah, no, let's play golf. I like and, the and, a, and the golf if you saw him swing, I don't know if you would think that he could, he's, he's off, off that, yeah, three yeah. or four. Natural, nat gifted sports. He's just got today. great hands. Have he's, you seen um, uh, Rafael Nadal swing? Yeah, it's weird, and he's isn't off it? One. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going like, it's what almost is that? like he does a backswing, but then negates the backswing. Yeah, but he's but still sort of he's sort of vibrating, like he's jogging on the spot before he swings and let him, like that. Yeah, his yeah, hand that, and then, yeah, and then he's sort of really grips and goes, jerry. and then pulls, and then whack. He stops at the last minute, <laughs> and then he's shaking, settles, shaking, yeah, and then just goes boom. I'm but going in, like, I wonder what he's off, and then said one. I went, yeah, but joking. In saying that though, in golf. A lot of the drills and things you do, they will yep. often refer to tennis. Yeah, absolutely. Like especially yeah, with your yeah. driver and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like of it's, it's it's a very yep. similar hand eye ball as ball opposed sport. to cricket. And it's it's mm. it's hilarious. I, I know a lot of cricket players and most of them play golf. Yep. Yeah, they do a but, lot and good golf, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah. really good golf. Mm. But but they've um but they've got to unlearn yep. a lot of things because it's so handsy. Yeah. Um, you know, especially in the subcontinent, it's all yeah, about wrists yeah, yeah. and yeah, um, yeah, yeah. so in golf it, when you get your hands too involved, it's your worst yeah, nightmare. Right, it's your, every yeah. almost yeah. every cricketer yeah. starts off as a slicer, yeah. but uh, yeah. we did we we deviated and we brought up golf. We brought, <laughs> no, up, golf. No, this, we brought up golf. <laughs> Where were it's we? All good. Oh, we were, no, we were talking about riding because I was yes. going to ask you how do you feel about the AI in coming into the riding and the producing sort of music industry side of things. Um, I haven't thought about it heaps, but I I feel like. We, we've been in this industry for 20 years now. Mm, and, so much has changed and since then, we started, eh? Yeah, like but also crazy. just before we started was things like Napster. And, yeah. you know, we were around when C we were still signing CDs. At, yeah, yeah, you know, absolutely. At, at different record stores and... and um, still be doing that in a, in a month, Yeah, mate. no, I've got to leave it home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got to get right into them. Oh, still. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you know S what I'm signed saying? Signed copies doing... available at Sanity <laughs> and JB now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, we've seen all of the fearful changes mm. to the landscape. Yep. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really, it doesn't move the needle for me. Like, I, yep. I, I refuse to buy into the fear because I know that true art and true artists will always find a way. Yeah, yeah, and, and so, I, no one can tell me that AI is going to replace, replace. Yeah, like, yeah, full yeah. stop yep. human beings yep. because... Yeah. 
how boring would that yeah. be? Like, yeah, even if yeah. you're a human, like, yeah, like, what yeah. are you going to go to an AI show? Like, yeah. An, a, like, <laughs> yeah, well, that's exactly right. You might yeah. for the first two yeah. years when it's like yeah. because yeah. weird and interesting mm. or whatever. But um, I think like anything, you've just got to use it to better your art. So yeah. I will be using like, like I've started using a mastering plugin. That's like an AI mastering plugin. It's still not great. Like no, I, no, I've still got it. Is, it yeah, needs yeah. my but human that For tweaking. someone like me who had no idea about that would be brilliant. Cause it just exactly. gives you a template to start off from. And, and so then you go from, yeah, go that's from the best part though, mm. because yeah, yeah. you would be able to unlock things that is normally a limitation. That's right. Yeah, which yeah. is just called yeah. advancing, you know, yeah. that's techno well, technological adva advancement. Now yeah. it, it's like taxi drivers when Uber came in, they're going to, they're going to be filthy, yeah. but yeah. at the end of the day, you do have to yeah, somehow adapt, adapt and, and, and evolve. Yeah. Mm. And, yeah, and so I, I don't know the AI things, it's interesting, but all of the people that I really respect have the same concept there's a guy oak felder he's an amazing producer and he's he's got a lot of great things to say about it where he's similar to what i'm saying he's like you've just got to use any tool that's available yep for you to make your art better yep. it's not going to replace you if you see it as a threat that's the wrong way to think about it i think yep. anything in technology if you can make if it makes your art better um you know to, i think to a certain extent you know yeah 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 yep. then it's great, you know, but nothing's going to replace raw yeah. human yeah. talent. Yeah. Otherwise, it's, it's yeah, boring. it's crazy right now because you can you can you know listen to a bloody a, a politician sing <laughs> sing rawhide or something because they they AI generate that. I the, love that. Yeah, I know, I like think I'm listening to Arnie's, a, a, yeah, uh, uh, Arnie's singing rawhide. <laughs> yeah. Eric Cartman AI, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> have you heard the Have you heard the Evanescence Eric Cartman thing? Yes. That, have you heard that? No, I haven't heard that. No. I'm finding that while we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, do it. Absolutely. I mean, for stuff like that, I think it's amazing. Actually, someone showed me when I was songwriting in, in LA a few weeks ago, he's a songwriter and he wanted to, um, I'm trying to do two things at the same time. Yeah, right. that's on. all good. Um, he, he wrote some songs to pitch to Rihanna and he wrote another one to pitch to Ariana Grande. Yep. He sung it down the octave, chose this AI, it's like La Lal or something, yep. dot com. He chose this voice, and um, and it. I swear to God, it's Rihanna. Like yeah, you cannot right. tell that it's not yep. Rihanna. And then yep. he kept flicking between the original, and he's like, "Dude, I've just pitched the song to Rihanna, and she knows exactly what it's going to sound like if her voice was on it." Yeah, you know? how and good is that? Like That's it's stuff like that yeah, where yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. you know, this guy is not like a, a yeah. the best singer in the world. So no, he's no, like, yeah. he, you know, he's not trying to be. He's no. not trying to make money off being an AI singer. Yeah, yeah, But he's yeah, just yeah. made a sick demo that's, that's really, right, yeah. you know, suited. So mm. I think when you're using it for that, what did I say? Cartman AI. Oh, did you see the one where they slowed down Cardi B and she sounded like Jay Z? My oh. <laughs> This hits. Triet with Cartman. Yeah. I mean, that's Evanescence. Yeah. That's the first on the podcast. Fe yeah. Featuring Cartman guys. Who saw that coming? That's yeah, a, I'll tell you what. That wasn't in the notes. <laughs> but, I mean, that's slam. Oh, that's crazy. That, that's Isn't really that slammed. amazing? Careless yeah. Whisper. Uh, there's Eric Cartman doing Careless Whisper as well. That's oh, pretty God. Cool. <laughs> I've got to look that up. I mean, it is it is hilarious. Like, well, uh, That's funny. I, yeah. I think... My my short answer is don't give into the fear. Use it. No, yeah, that's you know, right. for oh, benefit. Because I mean, the biggest thing too is is especially where I grew up. You know, the, the so limited opportunities to go and see anybody live. Mm. Like especially big name act coming around. I think uh, Red Gum came out to Condo when I was about twelve, and that was the only band of, of the whole of my time out there that ever came past the mountains. Yeah, right. You know, so listening to stuff, whereas you could generate an AI thing that you can listen to music to this generated, whatever. But I think there's no, once you go and see a show in in person yeah. and, and see and feel the electricity and, and feel actually the, the bass 
you know, hitting you and, and the person that you've been watching or you're a fan of, yeah. um, you know, mate, point at you when you sing, when they're singing, that sort of stuff. That's un, un, uh, irreplaceable human connection. Especially in our with, you world. You know, and, and vulnerability and, 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 you know, in a moment between two people, you know, and, and just an experience that's, that's so... Uh, impossible to fabricate, if you know. What yeah, I mean, well, you know? well, the the part of it that's missing, which is the key ingredient, is mm. like you can't tell me someone's going to go and and like pay money to see. Yeah, a hologram. A, 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 yeah, an AI Taylor <laughs> Swift, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know why? They would go as a fan just to see it, maybe. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But but no one's gonna no one's gonna choose that over seeing nah. Taylor Swift because it's yeah. Taylor who wrote this song out of her own That's right. feelings and yep. they and they feel like Taylor like you said when they look at them or when they point at them they want to see the look on their face when they're singing a part and see if it's emotional to them as as much as it is to the to person. the listener yeah, yeah. To the listener, yeah. And, and I don't think anyone can replace the humanness of art because it, mm. it's just like when someone's at a, a show and and you're singing now I run and yeah. they've gone through yeah, yeah, absolutely. whatever yeah. for their, yep. with their own dad yep. right yep yep then what you're telling me a Cartman generated <laughs> 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 that's right absolutely yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bad, bad example but no, no, but you know I, what I get I'm it. saying yeah, they want yeah, you yeah. yeah that's right to it's like fight if you get, your emotions yeah, if, if on there's stage. a chance to see Elvis still alive mm. like people are going to see a, a, a generated a hologram you don't that's think he's alive? Well, he could be alive. I'm not saying that. I've seen I'm, some pretty I'm, convincing guys. At, at a show, but at yeah. a show, doing a show. He's not doing that many. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> Sorry to derail you. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> he could be too. I'm not saying that. Never seen that. Did you ever watch any of those growing up? I remember sitting with my mum and dad and watching like a, my dad, my dad was a big Elvis fan. So yeah. we we're, were watching this like conspiracy video of Elvis being Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, alive. and there's a, there's a, a he's a pastor. There's a pastor in America I've seen, and he that looks. They say it's a, yeah, like he's got the same teeth. I don't, I don't know, know if any of this random oh, Elvis mate. talk will make <laughs> your podcast. <laughs> yeah, no, it's all there, mate. There's no, it's yeah, all killing, no filler, either. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, mate, no yeah. editing, John. <laughs> oh, yeah. editing. Well, it's on my studio. I'm telling you now, I'm not editing it. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, mate, in 2013, you and Jill set up your, your Sebastian Foundation. Hmm. Now, what the purpose of the foundation? How have you found that? And tell me some of the things you've achieved with that, because that, that, in my opinion, is is a beautiful, beautiful thing um, that you've done just to just to help people. Uh, uh, you know, something that was in within your power to create a, a thing. Like, give us a bit of a rundown and some stats on that, because yeah, it's a, a, a laugh, a, apart from being as busy as you are, writing, songwriting, touring, you know, performing, ju- uh, uh, uh Coaching Modeling, on the show, yeah, no, coaching. Yeah. No, I didn't want to say judging. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you st- oh, I put yeah, it in yeah, your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> coaching uh, and being a father and husband, all that sort of thing. To find time for for you know for others is, is just really selfless. So let's uh, tell us a bit about that. Well, I mean, look, you as well. I think we, we were given so much mm. on that show Absolutely, twenty years yeah. ago, yeah. and and it's um you always try and give back. I think now and till I think we're always we're still having a career. We're still getting exactly, still yeah. Being you know given. You know, well, I think it's the... it set the pre- precedent, didn't it? Yeah. Because because to me, I always talk about that as almost this thing, not on a negative no weight on my shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, It's like a reminder for me because to me, I talk. I I said it at the show that twenty years yeah. show that you you were at, and and I it, it's such a trip to go through what we went through to get to our careers because people who didn't know us. Yeah, literally paid money. They yeah, went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is costing me money. I want to see yeah. you achieve your dream. Yeah, that's right. I don't right. know you. Absolute. No, absolutely. But and people who had no money. money were spending you literally know, thousands of dollars on yeah. phone phone calls. So I think that almost set a precedent because I know for you as well. I've always seen you give back. I've always yeah. seen you do the little things no one ever sees. Yeah. For the community, for kids that just yep. come up to you, um, and and so I, I think I wanted to do something a bit more official i found myself just doing stuff for heaps of random charities and stuff and and it is fraught with danger too because a lot of the charity stuff is a little bit we can't control it you don't know know where the money's going you don't know who's benefiting from it you know so you've got to trust people with it you know exactly once again the guilty by association thing if something negative goes down with the charity that you've done a free gig gig for for, next thing you're part of the problem exactly well I, i you know with with our foundation i wanted to set up something that you know i also you know i mentioned religion before mm. i i feel like 
I, what I went through was a little difficult because I, I, I have a lot of thoughts about money and how it's spent, yeah. you know, and, and, and it was hard for me at, at a certain stage in my life because I, I didn't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater because there's so many great religious organizations that are yep. just these, you know, you go to a small little church, they've got 50 like kids from World Vision or whatever, a Compassion on mm -hmm. the Wall, they're, they're, they're like, you know, they've got their community events, they're so community focused, yep. but then I feel like then there's the other side of religion that's sort of just the extortionate amounts of yeah, costs yeah, yeah. And, and it's yep. like a business. And yeah, so that's the thing, I, yeah. I think I just really wanted to set up something that had such a really specific purpose that meant a lot to us. And, yep. you know, youth mental health is where we're at. We've got that's this school really schools program in schools called <coughs> Open Parachute. Um, yeah, so it, it's a program called Open Parachute in Schools and, mm -hmm. and youth mental health program. Um, does It's all... Um, written and designed and yep i'll say that again sorry so it's um the whole thing is is formulated by dr Haley watson and, oh, and so she's an incredible clinical psychologist who put this thing together we wanted to find something like that and possibly even pay researchers to yeah, design yeah, yeah. a to come up with something yeah, 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 yeah and then yeah, yeah. and then jules met her at this like girls mentoring young right. girls mentoring thing awesome and it was just a perfect program. It's rolled out heaps in Canada and in the UK and in, in parts yeah. of the US and stuff, but nothing in Australia um, that was like this. It's a peer-to-peer yep. -peer program. So they just watch videos of other kids their own age. So, mm -hmm. so we film kids from all sorts of different age groups about different subjects. You know, there's like bullying, social yep. media, yep. Um, uh, obviously anxiety and depression yeah, and all yeah. that sort of stuff, but even stuff like it's geographically catered to. So we'll yep. do stuff out in the country where it's yeah. drought related, you know, yeah, 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 parents yeah. have gone through drought and, yeah, and right. you yep. know, it's yep. affected them in this way. And yeah. so it's really, it's really effective. Um, for us, it costs us 15 bucks a kid for the whole year. Yeah. Right. Yep. It used to cost us 30, but now we've got so many um, kids that open parachute have now they're tipping in 15, yeah, as right. well yeah, on cool. top of oh, what great. we tip in awesome. for each kid. So um, we've got, yeah, close to 100,000 kids now wow. going through the program. We're in like, uh, I can't remember, 200 schools, close to 200 that's schools great. around that's Australia. That's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. It's really so cool. Yeah, my yeah, kids absolutely. my kids are going through the program in their school and yep. it's cool like when they come home and they yeah. talk about stuff yeah, that, that we cool, haven't, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. subjects that we haven't had to awkwardly try and navigate. No, yeah, and, absolutely. Because all, yeah. Oh, yeah, all that sort of stuff is, is so difficult, you know. I mean, a lot of time, especially, you know, out in the bush, the kids is learning a lot of stuff that off other kids at school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's like you know? serious challenges as well, you know, not just in the cities. <clears throat> Obviously, the challenges out bush yeah. and, and and in rural areas are so different as well so With social media especially now because like if, if it's bullying for instance going home is not getting away getting away from it no because no, it, no. Like, there's so it's 24 7 on. you know uh 24 7 just bullies are getting bullied and, you, and there's no no hiding it you know what i mean and, and they the, and the problem is right growing up like you probably cared about what you know Adam so Damo you know, and a few of your mates <laughs> like thought of you. So yeah, yeah, so you'd yeah. go, Oh, they think this of me, oh yep. geez, I better pull my head in or yep. or um, you know, they said I've done this great thing. Yep. Now there's no actual solid foundation of the community for yeah. these kids because everyone has access, everyone yeah, has yeah, input right. yep. and an opinion and yep. so they don't actually know which they don't know where their their northern star is. No, right? yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. they don't know. They what, haven't got the, a starting point. No, yeah. no, and there's too much input and too much opinions, yep. and it just rocks their foundation. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. You know, but Jules lost her brother to to suicide. We we were oh. um we were four days in into our honeymoon, and got an oh. awful phone call, yes. and and you know rushed back. Like I think we flew for thirty six hours or something, just oh on the gosh. next flight, desperate to get yeah. home and. And then, you know, I lost uh, lost one of my mates who was in my band um, as yep. well to mental health and yep. um, that's who the choir's about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that that's yep. who choir's about. And and I think it's all. I mean, when I look at those two people, you're talking about ridiculously talented, yeah. funny as yeah, hell yeah. individuals. Yeah, like yeah. light up a room. Yep. Yeah, there's no formula to it, and yep. I just think. There's so much stuff in our school systems that's important. Yeah. Sports important, like it teaches yeah, a lot I of think so. good things. Absolutely, yeah. Academics, of course. Like, yep. but when you get out into the real world, like you know, most of the adults who are listening to, yeah, to yep. this podcast, you know how important it is to be able to just not like be 
hit with a situation with no like no thought whatsoever yeah. gone into how you can mentally handle it. That's right? right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But if at a school level you're going... You've got a little bit of preparedness. Just a little bit. Like, yeah. hey, yep. this might happen. You might yep. do this. You might it come gets shared this. on Snapchat everywhere and you think absolutely. your life's over. It's yep. not. Yeah, yeah, no, you know? absolutely. Well, all this, the nude stuff and all that, the kids that was really big there a couple of years ago was the sending nudes and that. And that. Yeah. And just the, the fact that it, they're always going to be out there. Yeah. Well, no one was telling him that. I haven't first shared place. any of yours, no, no, by the way. Good. That was just for you, man. Yeah, probably, thank you. It's probably why I was trying to get, bring that up just to clarify that. Probably should have done it off the show. That but probably wasn't anyway. a, a good place to insert a gag like that. I'm sorry. Keep no, going. Keep right. going. Keep going. What an awful place to. <laughs> oh, my. Just sorry, delete him, man. Going. Delete him. We'll be right. Keep going. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, Deleting nothing, so. guys. <laughs> it's a reminder. Two is coming up. <laughs> We got it, guy. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, mate. So, so, uh, no offense to anything. It's, I think it's magnificent and, and really proud of you for doing all that stuff. You angels, it's a great initiative. I think it's so. Get behind oh, those. Get behind the uh, Sebastian Foundation, guys, when when uh, you can. And mate, I'm happy to help out with that and with anything I can too. If, yeah, if, uh, if mate, you have in the that, past. That you've me. done our carols and yeah. done stuff yeah, for us. Or, yeah. So, mate, tell me this. You know, cr- twenty crazy years. For mm. both of us, what's what's the next twenty uh, involve that you can you can think of, or what um, you want, or what you hope, or what you dream? Yeah, uh, look, I I think um, I I just want to keep making music, yeah. I, I, and and just being a good dad. It's pretty simple yeah. for me. Like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I um, you know, I, I I gave an answer, which to be honest, I didn't mean. I just said it as a joke. Mm. In, in some interviews because I went to I went to Taylor Swift show yep. and um, and I, I'm going to say this in a, you know there, there's always a sense that you've got to be sensitive in how you say things and I'm not always that articulate I I was asked how does it feel being an artist and you're at Taylor Swift show <laughs> and you're sitting there and my answer it's like was like a loaded question but isn't it well it's my like, answer how does it feel to be nowhere near as good as this person <laughs> yeah I mean it's it's a, it's an obvious thing and and there's not me and you would sit and get a question like that and laugh right yeah, yeah. And, and 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 it wasn't even meant to be asked in a mean way yeah, but, yeah, my, yeah. but my answer was oh you know those docos where they just they keep zooming out on Earth, it's like about space and the universe. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And they go, and then there's this solar system, and then if you zoom out to this, and yeah. Earth just keeps getting tinier and tinier, yep. and then they show you, and then you feel smaller than an ant and yeah, so yeah. insignificant. And I was like, kind of feels like that when you're <laughs> in a Taylor Swift show. <laughs> but, but I actually, like, uh, I am, I don't know about you, I never thought I'd be able to do this. First. Yeah, I, I didn't think anything like this was going to happen. So I, I'll be I'll tell you my honest opinion about it all as mm. far as where I am gonna get everything since that day on Idol is yep. a bonus. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Literally. Because I never thought I'd get to record an album. Yeah. And I remember having that wine with you, uh, that, mm. that beer with you. Yeah. When we found out We were both gonna get signed, yeah. We're getting signed. <laughs> well, I'd watch <laughs> the American one, see? And yeah. they and they'd signed the runner up and the winner from that. And the UK one as well. Yeah, they sound. So as soon as we Gareth made the Gates top two, I'm going yeah. like, yeah, yeah, surely, surely. Because we got we got to make music like yeah, that was man. way more than anything else. So, and I know yeah. it's like you listen to the Tony Robbins, all that you know, set yeah. micro goals, man. And yeah, set, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. I think I just keep it simple. Yeah. I know I work hard. Yeah, I'm going to keep working hard. I listen. I learn. I was like before you got yep. here. I was just doing scales for an hour, yeah, right? yeah, like yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on my piano. Like I'm not going to stop because no. I love it so much. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The rest I can't really control. I can just keep. No, trying. Exactly, absolutely. Yeah. And and so I I don't know. I think my point about the Taylor Swift thing was I was kind of lying a bit because it. I, I don't. I know personally. I could never ever do that yeah but it's I, not that's not what you're trying to do either no 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 and so it so it doesn't mean you're insignificant by not doing that no and, I, and I'm also not arrogantly saying probably could have if I wanted to yeah. <laughs> obviously not yeah, obviously but I wasn't not. trying <laughs> no like I, I I think where I'm at is more exponentially more than anything I could have ever yeah, hoped yeah, for yeah yeah absolutely so yeah. Like yesterday, Sam called me and he's like, "Dude, we're number one in Argentina." <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, what? It'd be nice. To, that's cool. Yeah. Number one. I don't think I've ever charted in yeah. Argentina. Like, <laughs> what like, is that? Like, that'd so be cool, yeah. everything's a bonus for me. Yeah. Anything that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what people think is something I would think is successful yep. is not 
what I think is successful. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I know how much I I can physically share without compromising yeah. my kids, my family. And that's a big one too, you know. To, yeah. Like if uh, if you were even if you're to, doing a world world tour, so you're not going to be home for eighteen months. No, you know I mean? like, so you can more or less kiss your family. Goodbye. Well, I was saying that about Taylor because Jules and I have just been in this kind of like bubble of worship appreciation for what we witnessed that night. Yeah. It made if you saw that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is hit after hit after and yeah, everything yeah. is so personal from teenage years when she was doing country on a guitar yeah. to like Yep. Yeah. She has never held anything for herself really in my in my eyes. I toured with her yeah. on her red tour. That's right, yeah. She's the most generous artist I've seen as far as like nothing is mine everything i have is yours to yeah, her right. fans yeah every yeah, yeah. experience i get every relationship everything yeah, that i, yeah, I yeah, want yeah. you guys to learn from it through yeah. my art and and wow. i feel Crazy. like no wonder people are so in love with her and yeah. and of course because it's so it's so generous what she's done yeah and and i just massively respect her for it um but I, I, I think I, I know the reality. Like I, I've done a little stint living in LA. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you've yeah. travelled. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yep. And I feel like anything else that happens in the next twenty years is a mm. bonus. Like yeah, I, absolutely. I don't know. I can't yep. really answer. Like what what am I gonna say? Oh a Grammy? Like who cares? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then I've set no. that as the measure of That's of right. Like, and the, like what you won't be purpose. happy unless that happens, which is totally not the yeah. case. And yeah. I yeah, I couldn't care. I mean, I, yeah, we're the luckiest people in the world. I, I think you know to, to have the lifestyle or, and the and you know I, I'm not I, we, I live in a, on hundred acres of bush. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I'm not I'm not too hard to, to please if you know what I mean. And, yeah. And I'm not you know extravagant in any way like that. But I can you know I can just leave on a Friday and go and do a couple of gigs on the weekend and and yeah. then be home and, be and see the kids and and see and, the family and, and all that sort of stuff. You know and, and work for well I mean there's so much travel and as you know you know early mornings and late nights and all that sort of thing, but it's literally two hours, worth, three yeah. hours worth of work over the weekend. <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, I'm going home now. <laughs> but do you feel that like the same? Because I want to write a song about that actually, about just, just, you know, how really cool it is and how blessed um, mm. we are, you know, just to, to have the opportunity to do, to do that and have that as our, uh, our income, yeah. you know, our, our lifestyle and, and, you know, the opportunity that's, that's being created by it, you know. Well, Which it's, is really special. It's the thing, I think, without that stuff, right? What was I doing the other day? I was doing something very unglamorous. What was it? Jules pointed it out. Um, oh, I can't remember. I was doing something. I was cleaning something. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You can, no, cut, all this, you no, can cut all this dead time out. <laughs> now, what was I doing? I was... God. I mean, it, for me, it's the moments like... A few weeks ago, I was clean, cleaning out my storage, right? Yep. I'm dripping with sweat. And mm. I'm just like going through old... Like I found a box full of old letters, uh, like fan letters yep. and all that sort of stuff. I found the card that said, you know, Guy Sebastian. Sorry to bring it up, but, um, you know, when when <laughs> when Osher announced the winner. I found that card. Uh, like that? in the me I've oh, got this yeah, memory box. Cool. Yeah. But, but I'm dripping with sweat. Um, and then I can come home and I can coach... Where is that card? <laughs> Burn it. No, have you got a, <laughs> you got a rubber? What did it really say? <laughs> what did it really say on there, man? <laughs> yeah. Un underneath, underneath, there was an impression that said <laughs> shame. Um, but, but, you know, it's in those moments where I'm fishing or where, you know, where I'm, pl I've played, yesterday I played LMS cricket, like 2020 cricket. Yeah, yeah. And I can sometimes go from an arena show to a little you know, a little golf course in Griffith or something, yeah. you know? And yep. to me, I feel like, like you said, I'm the luckiest person to yeah. have a normal life with normal human interactions. Yep. Um, and I'm not like, like I don't have an entourage. I don't have, yeah, yeah, I don't have yep. security. Yep. Not everyone cares who I am. Yep. It, it's to me, it's like, that is, the perfect life. Yeah, I still get because to you've do got this. a foot in both worlds. Yeah, yeah, I agree a hundred percent. But if I, I couldn't... didn't have that stuff, yep, I, I would be lost in the complete wash of what can be an extremely superficial, yeah, hard business to yeah, be in. Absolutely, and it's all about playing a game with the two to to mm. further yourself. You know what I mean? With, you know, yeah, and people are willing to do anything. Well, you've got this you little know? pure thing, right? You've got this 
song that you've got that you've yep. written and then the interaction of like you read oh mate this this song means so much to me because oh, yeah you know, I've gone absolutely well mate blah, blah, lift blah. is a perfect example of that for oh 20 God. years i've had people dozens and dozens and dozens of people come up to me just going like man i just want to thank you for your song lift yeah he said i, I was i had actually taken the steps to about to to do something really horrendous to myself and yeah, yeah. lift come on the radio yeah, and then I just I didn't do it because of that song, or or I was really low and I listened to the lift every day, all day, every day, and it just mm. got me out of it. You know that that is just magical, it's majestic, and that's that every is, day you know? for you know? both of us, right? Yeah, so yeah. I could wake up on any given that's, day. That's such a beautiful, and beautiful thing. Literally jump on Facebook, yep, yep, Instagram, TikTok, yep. any of those, and read some DMs. Yeah, and it's like okay, there's there's your purpose. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. But yep. we yep. hold that like this. Yep. And then surrounding it all is absolute bullshit. <laughs> yeah, all the yeah, the rest of the the rest. It of is the, so hard yeah. to navigate, and it's yep. so it gets you so anxious and so like, and there's so much kind of evilness in people's yeah. intentions and and ambitions and and yep. it, I wouldn't have a bar of that if I didn't have this solid like yeah, yeah, the normal friendships yeah. and life's going on I yeah 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 be able to do no it. i'm the same mate with it i'm i'm stoked like like you said i, I don't know how i mean I, the last thing in the world i don't know why people would want to but but people like beaver and that because they get attacked for if they if they lash out mm. but 24 hours a day they've got people following them around and see i reckon like, he's he's more normal than you think too. no no like, no like but i'm just he, what he he's got to put up with you but know? that's why yeah. it's driving him insane because yeah, he actually yeah. craves Craves anonymity. Normal stuff, yeah. yeah. Anonymity? Anonymity. Same anonymity. thing. <laughs> Animosity. Anim no, that's not one. <laughs> what a... Anonymity. 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 Amnesty. That's it. <laughs> one of those. Oh, cool. So, mate, in the future, I think we should uh, do a bit of writing. We talked about that before. We've had to Come finish that song off. Uh, Tim was saying before, is there any you know, things that other people wouldn't know? And... We were talking about now. You brought up earlier about the song we haven't finished, and oh, I wouldn't even know how it went. Now, when did we start it? On it was over the couple of days we were rehearsing at at the opera house. There was a big oh, there's one of the so many rooms, uh, like dressing rooms there, and one had a big piano in it. Did I record a voice note? Yeah, you might have. If, if you can find did. that on there after 20 years, it. mate, you're no, oh, well, you are way better at technology. Oh, this me, is but, oh, opera house. Opera house. The finale. Twenty years yeah. ago, I thought you meant Opera House <laughs> no, just no, no. gone. I was no, like, when we had our, when it was the finale, and we we're mucking out. You were playing the piano, and we we just started writing a song then. Oh we God, said, well, no, we'd write, write something way better now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, way better. I'm kind of like if you could find it twenty years later. Yeah. Hey, honestly, but you just meant just before Christmas. Yeah, yeah, I meant just a few months ago. <laughs> a any, any, um, and likewise, I'll flick some yeah, stuff yeah. through. Any concepts that, yeah, like, yeah. like what I was saying, like anything that hits home. That's, like, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I feel like it should mean something. Well, I, think, I reckon it's a great concept, though. You know, the, yeah. the life they gave us, really. I know? feel like a good title w would be "The Older, the Wiser." Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just something about how old we are. Yeah. 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 And, well, Age and sh shut before up, you weren't robbed. beauty. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Nulls, you weren't robbed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're lost, right? Eh? Just wear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Always come second, but just ask the missus. <laughs> <laughs> I've used that a few You've times. You've used right? that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> a few times. Oh, I had to have it's some come good. back. It's still <laughs> good. It still good. works. It still gets a laugh. Everyone was a winner that night. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's right. I, I, the reality I'm, of that. Now. Amazing night. Historic night yeah. in this country. There were no losers. That, yeah. Tim, that's why you're still on the team. Because you exactly just, right. you always come in with those things. That's exactly right. More people, <laughs> Shannon, you know. More people talk about that than the moon landing. I mean. <laughs> 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 Um, geez, we've chatted. I don't know how yep. you're going to edit this down, but no, nah, we're um, like two. Uh, we're going to put it in two parts. <laughs> oh, that's good, mate. My beautiful friend, Guy Sebastian. Thank you so much, bud. Thank for, you. Thank you for allowing us to do this at your house. But just thank you for being on the podcast too, and thank you for being my friend. I oh, appreciate it. Thank you for coming around. It's good to hang. <laughs> no, awesome, I wish buddy. you had time for golf today. Me too. Actually, I've got to pick up. I've got to pick up the yeah. kids soon. Yeah, you will have to. Jeez, say, we've yeah. been chatting. I love it. <laughs> That's great, mate. Awesome. I, could, I could chat all day. <laughs> I know. Well, we you. haven't had a chance for a long time. So no, it was, it was a long time coming. Well, honestly, let's do that song. Yeah, I think so. We'll do that because I also thought too. Um, we get Blake up too. Yeah, maybe write something for him. Would be cool. That would be cool. Mm. 
We've got to do it now. You've promised the nation that you can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's so. Trust me, I'm oh, all, I think, I you're locked in now. I'm always up for writing. I, I mean, yeah. I, I'm I'm in here every day, yeah. like yeah. that. I'm home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is where I. Oh, why wouldn't you be? It's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely. Better yeah. with aircon, isn't it? <laughs>